hello everyone welcome back to tally's kitchen today we're going to be making this super amazing nicely soft absolutely perfect strawberry lo loaf bread now i had a few strawberries left at home and i figured oh yeah let's make some strawberry cake and this turned out just absolutely amazing nicely soft you can see those little pockets of strawberries in there that are just absolutely full of flavor it is the perfect tea time snack so without any further ado, let's learn how to get this done. So in a bowl, go ahead and add one cup of margarine or you can use butter if you have butter, but I'm using margarine here. Add one cup of sugar and then I'm just going to go in with my hand mixer here and make sure I mix everything to combine. Now remember, whenever you're making a cake, you always want to mix your butter or your margarine and the sugar until you get a really beautiful creamy consistency so do take your time here and just continue mixing this until you notice the color will begin to change you can start seeing it's becoming a little bit lighter so it's becoming more creamier and that's what we're looking for so once you achieve that go ahead and add three eggs and then add one tablespoon of baking powder and then lastly go ahead and add one teaspoon of vanilla essence so just go ahead and mix this in and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. Once everything is nicely combined, go ahead and scrape out any of your butter from the sides of your bowl. And then I'm going to begin adding my flour here. And in total, I did two cups of flour, but I just added this in bits. And then you can use your spatula or you can still use your mixer if you prefer to do that to make sure everything is nicely combined. So whenever you're making cake, you're looking for a thick falling consistency. And most of the time I found that if my eggs are big enough, I don't even need to add any milk to move once I've added my flour. But uh, sometimes when the, when the eggs are a bit small, then I need to add a little bit of milk, which I had to add here. And I used here about a quarter cup of milk. So just check on your consistency before you add in your milk, just to see if you have the correct consistency. So sometimes you might need the milk, sometimes you might not need the milk, depending on the size of your eggs. So you should just be able to lift it up with your spatula and if it has a nice thick falling consistency, then you know you're absolutely good to go. And make sure you mix it until there are no more lumps in there. So here I'm going to start preparing my strawberries and I'm just going to uh, remove the upper part. And then I'm going to be dicing one strawberry into eight parts because I just want nice small pockets of strawberries in there. And once uh, your strawberries are nicely prepared, I'm going to coat this with a little bit of flour just so that uh, they don't sink to the bottom of my cake. So just lightly coat them and then you can go ahead and add this to your butter. So use your spatula to fold this in slowly uh, and then we're going to prepare to start um, baking this. You can see the consistency is really nice and smooth and this is what you're looking for. So line up your baking tin with parchment paper and then just go ahead and pour in your mixture. That's the thick falling consistency I was talking about. So lastly here, I'm just going to top off my cake with some thinly diced uh, strawberry slices. Now you can add this in whichever fashion you want. Uh, this was just to bring in a little bit of color when this comes out um, from the oven. And this is going to go into the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 50 to 60 minutes. And my cake is ready. Would you look at how beautiful this cake actually looks nice. Oh my goodness. And it smells absolutely amazing. The house just literally smells like a, like a bakery. And you can see how beautiful the topped strawberries look on top there. And I'm just going to go ahead and begin to cut this. Make sure you let it cool first before you cut it. And then um, I'm just going to show you the beautiful pockets of strawberries that were in there you can see how nicely soft this cake is this is the perfect tea time snack to be honest because the cake is full of flavor the vanilla is coming through the strawberry is coming through just absolutely perfect so do make sure to try out this recipe and let me know how it goes in the comment sections below remember to like to subscribe and to share and i will see you all next time bye